Good morning. Good morning from a very uh, special place on a special day. In the heart from uh, Europe, we will be making a, a show, a celebration today and sending out from Vienna, uh, from a little house on a pond. And this is symbolizing a bit the isolation we're all in. It's a bit a symbol for confinement and then isolazione. And the word isolation is covering the, the world isola. And Isola is the island, basically. And I think we are all in these this, this phases all over the world for the first time, kind of in the feeling of, of suddenly isolated, like in, a, in an experiment somehow. And, uh, and this idea is from this isolation, we're looking for a connection, we're looking for communication. And this is uh, kind of the symbolizing start to reach out to everyone and celebrate together. The 250 years of uh, Beethoven's birthday, we'll be celebrating 75 years of the United Nations. We'll be also celebrating 70 years of the Schumann Declaration. There was a founding speech and motivation and idea for the European Union. And also we are celebrating 25 years of Austria and also Sweden and Finland uh, in the, as being part and members of the European Union. And so all this will be in a, in a, in a special experimental uh, show, uh, something where people, artists, diplomats, politicians join in to state uh, opinions and saying thank yous and celebrating something. And we also prepared a musical piece. So I now give the word to welcoming all of us to His Excellency, Excellency Ambassador of the EU, um, Stefan Clement. Hello. Thank you very much, uh, Dominic, uh, for this very kind introduction. On behalf of the European Union, I would like to welcome you to Together as One, our live stream event to celebrate Europe Day 2020. Now, more than ever, is the opportunity to celebrate European unity and solidarity and to reflect on the future. Only global and multilateral solutions will be able to tackle this crisis. It was on this day, 70 years ago, that Robert Schumann delivered his famous declaration and paved the way for peace and prosperity in Europe, which has resulted in the creation of our Union. In addition, 2020 also marks 25 years since Austria joined the EU together with Sweden and Finland. It also marks 75 years since the creation of the United Nations. So today, we have reasons to celebrate, and we are doing it by reminding ourselves of the importance of multilateral cooperation in working towards a safer world. In this video, later during our live stream, nine artists will perform for nine minutes the Ninth Symphony of Beethoven, a unique way to perform the European anthem, which is brought for the first time as an artistic relay race, symbolizing solidarity and creativity within the European Union. Thank you for joining us in this virtual Europe Day celebration. With European and global solidarity, we will be able to find multilateral solutions to this current global crisis, as well as hope for a better future. Now, please let's enjoy together this musical Europe Day from our sofas. Thank you, His Excellency, for your introduction and welcoming speech. Very kind. And now, may I present you all the artists who will follow us uh, through this uh, special day and occasion and celebration. And it's a great round of artists from all different countries and all different uh, musical countries, basically, and styles. So this is uh, what we're in for. So um, let's say a few words of introduction where everybody's from. And I think I would start with uh, right in the very eastern, where the sun is going up first. We um, live um, in in our session, we have uh, the Vladigerov brothers, and I say hello to Sashko Vladigerov. Good morning. Morning. Hey. Hello from hey. our flat in 6th District in Vienna, Maria Hill, <laughs> Austria. Yeah, very nice to be a part of it. Uh, my name is Alexander Vladigerov. And my name is Konstantin. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we were born in Sofia, Bulgaria. We are through the 
a third generation musician. Our grandfather was a famous Bulgarian composer. My, uh, also our father, we had, was a very famous family in the music and we studied in Bulgaria. Then we came to, to Austria for since 20 years. More ago. than 20 years, yes. Mm -hmm. We study music, we work here and we are very happy to be here, uh, to be part of this musical world. We really thank you to invite us and to uh, we have an honor to present a music also and to celebrate all out of Europe and thank you to be a part of this. Uh, I am actually the piano player and play also the clarinet and Alexander, he's playing <laughs> Duke instrument. <laughs> Trumpet and flute horn. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, Anna? cellist. I came to Austria nine years ago to study at the music university in Graz and since then I've been a freelance musician in Austria and now I live in Vienna where I work in various orchestras, classical orchestras, film music orchestra and there's an orchestra which does a crossover between pop music and classical music. So I enjoy playing a lot of different styles, but ba uh, basically uh, classical music. And I'm very happy to be in Vienna and also to be a part of the musical scene here. It is great because it's a great mix of uh, nationalities and uh, it's, it's this uh, famous Schmelzkiegel which is uh, composed of all different nations and cultures which is the most exciting thing for the musician. So I'm thanking you for uh, for inviting me to this live stream and I wish you all a great New York day. Flores? Hear me? Yeah, glad to be here, thank you. Um, so hello everyone, I'm Flores Willem, I'm from Belgium and I live in the Vienna woods here in Burkersdorf near Vienna. I left the capital of Europe for the capital of music, Vienna, uh, where I study classical violin. Um, I give solo concerts and concerts with my band Flores and Flames, where we like to cross borders between musical genres. Uh, and I like um, avant-garde composers like Angobert, Max Richter, and Beatrice Frost. Very nice to be here. Yeah, welcome. Good to have you around. And I uh, see in the somewhere it looks like Salzkammergut. I don't know. Hanna from Malta. Hello. Hello. It's nice to see you all. Um, well, my name is Hanna. I'm half Austrian and half Maltese since my father comes from Malta, the smallest EU member state. Um, I'm playing the flute and um, I even studied classical flute for a couple of semesters. And um, right now I'm studying to become a primary teacher, um, kind of um, specializing in music and sports. And well, I'm really, really glad to be part of the show. And um, I love doing chamber music projects. So thank you for having me. And hello to Malta, especially. <laughs> From hello to Malta. Uh, bonjour, Alice. Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> um, ich heiße Alice, je m'appelle Alice. Um, I was um, born in Vienna. I'm half Greek, so I say also Yasu. Um, um, I grew up in Vienna, but I lived in Paris the uh, last 11 years, um, where I had a band. The name of the band was Wunderland, uh, in English is Wonderland. And, um, This was an electropop um, project, um, also with a kind of performance, um, kind of performance project, and with chanson for which uh, I wrote the text and I was the singer. And now I'm back in Vienna. I'm in the third district, and I'm in the Ungergasse. And in the Ungergasse, Ludwig van Beethoven, van Beethoven finished the Ninth Symphony. There is a Gedenktafel. And um, I realized uh, this, uh, in fact, the last uh, uh, days. And I think it's a very nice sign for all of us um, to be united in this virtual world, but um, to have this classical background. And I'm very thankful to be here. 
<laughs> uh, merci beaucoup. That uh, was beautiful information. And from the electronic pop from Paris, uh, Vienna and Ungergasse, <laughs> uh, we go into the world of jazz. Uh, Karin, you hear us? Yeah, hello. Thanks for inviting. Um, I am Karin. Um, I have, was born in Germany, but I'm half German, half Austrian. So my father is from Vienna also. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, I came to, to, to Vienna to, to study. Um, I studied at the Conservatorium Wien jazz saxophone um, and I came in 2008. Um, for me, it's always important not, not only to play jazz. Of course, it's an important part of my, of my, my uh, musical music, uh, uh, what I do. <laughs> But uh, I like the crossover between different styles. So, so I always try to, to play first in different bands with mostly different styles. And I like the, the mix up between, for example, uh, acoustic instruments like saxophone, flute, bass, clarinet, and um, the other side, electronic sounds and rhythm, rhythm section. And I like the, this mixing. Um, yeah, so I always try to, 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 to be yeah to play in different styles wonderful so let's go from all the mixed styles into the opera uh, to a great voice and tenor hello good morning paul hello my name is paul schweinister thanks for the invitation i'm really glad and um, although it's an online concert meeting i still put some perfume on so to be more <laughs> for this happening yes as dominic told i'm an opera singer freelance opera singer I grew up in the Alpine region of Tyrol, it's a part of Austria. And, um, but the part of going up to the mountains on my skis that I also brought to Vienna, I also sang in a boys choir and out of the boys choir, I had further steps playing in a band, singing in a funk, ska, rock music, doing some musicals. And um, that brought me back on stage with uh, classical singing. And obviously Vienna was a goal. I mean, uh, as we know, State Opera, all the houses here. So I'm, I'm based in Vienna and I'm very glad to be here and to perform this very special happening because Beethoven should be um, one of my, um, let's say, most performed compos composers this year. So I'm happy to have, um, to have it in this online version with you today. Thanks for the invitation. Thank you, Paul. And then we go from the opera uh, right into the lyrical part. Um, and um, we have a part of the hymn is also the Ode to Joy. And the great performer and, and voice artist is uh, Christian Reiner. Hello, Christian. Good morning. Good morning. Um, my name is Christian Reiner and I, I'm speaking poems um, and I have bands, so so-called jazz bands, um, but it's not. Um, <laughs> so for example, Weiße Wende and things like this. Yes, and I'm very happy to be here. Um, this is it. Um, yeah. And I hope that um, you enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Thank you, Don Cristiano. And from uh, the voice and the lyrical part, we go to an electronic uh, composer and uh, radio man, Matthias. Good morning, Matthias. Hello, hello. Good morning. Um, I'm uh, happy to be here. I'm a DJ, radio producer, radio DJ, electronic musician. And I'm half Austrian, half Swedish. Shara Helsinger, till alla som tittar på det här i Sverige. Wonderful. Nice. Thank you all. So um, before we go on with um, um, into showing our piece of work and having more statements and more interesting clips, it would be great just to have one line through one circle of uh, sharing our melody that was uh, finished in the Ungergasse, as we found out. And uh, it would be great to just uh, start back again. It's always good to have a, a trumpet. I think in the history of mankind, trumpets were always up front somehow or Sashko <laughs> let's kick it
Muchas gracias. Così fanno tutti. Der Natur. Alle Guten 
Alle Bösen folgen ihrer Rosenspur. Küsse gab sie uns und Reden. Wollust war dem Wurm gegeben. Freude heißt die starke Feder in der ewigen Natur. Thank you guys, muchas gracias, molto elegante. That was the first round and uh, so, so happy to be part of this, uh, just a, yeah, funky orchestration of celebrating orchestration. And we go on with a couple of statements and clips. And uh, following us is uh, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Let's uh, keep it on. It is my great pleasure to warmly greet the European Union and all the societies in its member states on the occasion of Europe Day. At this time, when the world faces an unprecedented crisis, I would like to express the heartfelt solidarity of the United Nations with you in your fight against the COVID-19 pandemic and its devastating economic, social and human impacts. The observance of Europe Day reminds us of the ideals of cooperation across borders and solidarity upon which the European Union was built. European unity has brought peace, prosperity, and a better tomorrow for millions of people across several generations. Today, people in Europe and around the world are once again looking to a strong and committed European Union to work with partners in saving lives and leading the global recovery. This year also marks the 75th anniversary of the United Nations and the international community must once again rise to the challenge of coming together in pursuit of a better world. You are an inspiration for what is possible when nations come together with unity of purpose. I'd like to thank you for the exemplary partnership that exists between the United Nations and the European Union. I know that we can count on you to continue to uphold the universal values of peace and human rights, address climate change robustly, and work towards a more inclusive and sustainable world for all. Thank you. Hi, my name is Paul Schweinester. I'm a professional opera singer. And since the Corona crisis affected Europe and the whole world, I'm jobless. And because of that, I started to become a bike messenger in Vienna. Normally I'm performing and singing all over European opera houses and right now at the moment I would have had shows in the Berlin Philharmonie with Kirill Petrenko. But at the moment I'm performing in the streets of Vienna and delivering stuff. Freude, schöne Götter, Funken, Tochter aus Elysium. Wir betreten feuertrunken, himmlische dein Heiligtum. Deine Zauber binden wieder, was die Mode streng geteilt. Alle Menschen werden Brüder, wo dein sanfter Flügel fällt. Europe is turning 70. 70 years ago, Robert Schumann started with what became known as the Schumann Declaration, the integration process. Today we mark this anniversary at a time when we are facing the biggest health and economic crisis since our foundation. And this is going to be a test for our union. Our response to the coronavirus will define our global role for the years to come. And the expectations and the fears are high. But European citizens, as well as our partners around the world, 
are looking to us to provide answers, to offer concrete help and solidarity. The European Union has always been able to demonstrate its strength when confronted with crisis. And we have always been able to show our best in overcoming those crises. When we thought an act big and brought people together. Our history shows that the strong Europe in the world begins at home with our unity. United home will also allow us to project a strong Europe abroad because only together we can face today's global challenges. You know, I am neither a pessimist nor an optimist about that. I am just an activist because the future is what we make of it today. So let's do it. Let's build the next chapter in Europe's history together in the spirit of the Schumann Declaration. We're here to celebrate 250 years of Beethoven, 75 years of the United Nations, 70 years of the Schumann Declaration, and 25 years of Austria being part of the European Union. And we celebrate this with a special arrangement created by Konstantin Vladigerov of the Ninth Symphony of Beethoven, The Ode to Joy. Enjoy.
Yeah, welcome back to the to the live stream. I hope you like this performance. It was a, a wild mix. We started as a relay race and then we showed uh, that harmony to find within uh, all the different languages. There is the one single spot, I think, that can bring ideas or connecting, you know, and then it's like a spark. And so language, communication, the ideas of exchanging, the different opinions and different sides. There's always some point of a spark that's inspiring. And I guess spark and inspiration, they have uh, a similar root in the word somewhere. I don't have time to look at this, but some other time. Anyway, so it's great to see uh, all these wonderful faces and musical souls here. You're still here. You didn't leave despite the great weather. And uh, so I just want to go through and I the first thank you for your beautiful and great performance. And then I think it also worked as a as a piece of art. And then also just uh, maybe getting a bit into, into the situation, because I think it's the first time in, in our kind of history, maybe even in the history of mankind, that because um, I think uh, the television and then the, the Internet is not that old, you know, it's I think it was Tim Berners-Lee in the 80s or early 90s. So, and ever since there wasn't any kind of confinement, you know, ever since people were in the caves or um, you had some... Yeah, sometimes in histories, but I mean, so this is pretty new and it's, it's, it's uh, just maybe we make a, a spontaneous round, maybe like the same circle before. If I start with our friends, the Vladigerovs, um, what did you do? Could you perform? Did you read music? Did you perform music? Or you can also quote a bit musically if you want. It's just a free flow of exchange as, as, as a document what we are, you know, as an archive as we speak. Yeah, of course, it's a difficult time for every musician, for everybody now. And we try to to keep in touch with more and more with music, with our uh, with with um, all the best that we we do it doing. Yeah, it's uh, compose music, to play the music, and uh, now we are focused of uh, our new album. Uh, it will be uh, with the lyrics from Raina Maria Rilke. We were very happy on it because it's a, a, a great, great work with uh, many, many sounds, with many new ideas, and uh, that's our life. It's the music, uh, and I, I try to be happy with this and, and creative, and creative, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, happy. Yeah, and the most of the time now, uh, three weeks ago, uh, when this. Time we just trying to put ourselves together, ourselves with music, and to to be create to stay really yeah strong. And uh, we wish you all to all of you, to all of the Europe uh, now people, then uh, really to stay healthy and yeah, yeah. yeah but, and happiness. And please yes, keep good move. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vladigeros. And you told me that the name of Anna Veselova uh, in a Bulgarian language, that's also a beautiful connection, means like uh, the happy one, if I remember correctly. The happy one. <laughs> okay, so welcome the happy one, Anna Veselova. Maybe you tell us uh, where you're from and uh, maybe what did you listen to music? Did you perform in some way? Um, how has your situation been in the last two months? I grew up in Latvia, but my family are Russian, so it's the same roots as the Bulgarian language. And so, yes, for me also, a lot of concerts were cancelled and I realized how vulnerable we are, especially the freelance musicians, because it, it can change from one day to another, uh, the situation. And I, actually, it was really difficult to accept it at first, and then now I think we all um we we came to terms with this situation and we're just trying to make the best out of it and for me this time was exploring my nearest surroundings the 16th district just yes slowing down the pace of, of life and just you know thinking about the things that you normally don't have time to think about connecting with yourself with nature and maybe just 
think in the bigger picture, um, future, future wishes for yourself, for for your life, and just practicing, of course, trying to not lose motivation. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, I think uh, we we became stronger because now from one day to another, you realize you, you actually have everything you need um, already. Maybe it was good time for people to maybe not consume and see what happens if they don't buy as many unnecessary things <laughs> as they usually do. And yeah, I think, I mean, we are mostly in a good situation. There are people who are in a much worse situation than us that maybe don't have four walls <laughs> to stay in. So I was, th I was thinking a lot of, uh, about these things. And yes, I think it's a good uh, point where I think a lot of us don't even know how to stop and maybe take time and slow down. And this was, uh, we were forced to, to do it. So I think we should enjoy those moments. Thank you, Anna. Very nice uh, words and true words. And then uh, we go to, to Floris. Uh, and as you said, you mentioned you're in the Vienna woods. I think that's a, that's a beautiful spot for, for confinement, isn't it? Exactly. I feel almost guilty that I am enjoying uh, the COVID-19 pandemic because I have more time to be with my loved one and I have more time to be in the Vienna woods and to walk and hike and be in nature, which I love. At the same time, I am also a bit concerned because, you know, um, there is not only this pandemic crisis, but there is this nature climate, climate crisis, which is maybe the most challenging crisis from the century. But I'm hopeful as well, again, because, you know, I just witnessed that massive change is possible in a very few amount of time. And like all people just stayed at home, keep distance, put masks, you know, there's a lot of change possible, actually. And this gives me hope because, you know, we need to take action for a greener future. We need to make wiser decisions and we can do this as individuals. We should do it as individuals, but we should only, we should also do it as communities, as a nation and as a U European Union, you know, and uh, I think we are uh, doing that already, but we can take even more action, go, because, go further. I think now it's a really good time in a kind of crisis to make these decisions and maybe even be an example uh, for other uh, parts of the world and go into history as the ones who took action and made the change together uh, for a better future. That's what I hope. Yeah, very, very well said. I think this could really also be a showcase and, and the hope is and the question who is, who is, who is taking that, 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 that step, you know, can can be brought from many, many people and then and, and by discussing and then hoping that there is a certain kind of energy that started to to go in that direction you mentioned. That's very, very true. Yeah, thank you, Floris. Live from the Vienna woods. It's good to see in the back the, the beautiful trees <laughs> and light. And from the Vienna woods, uh, I guess uh, it's somewhere in the west. Uh, I see a beautiful lake in the, in the back. Uh, this is the so-called Hanna. So called Mondsee, the Moon Lake, <laughs> and um, in Upper Austria, which is in the middle of Austria, middle north, I would say. Yes. Um, how I've been um, dealing with this time, um, well, I haven't really performed until today, <laughs> which is a great opportunity. And I <laughs> thank you again um, this time. And um, also, but I practice, I use the time for practicing more um, my neighbors are not so happy about it all the time i think <laughs> but um i really enjoy it and um i i also really try to see the positive things about this this whole time because of course um especially in the beginning there was great uncertainty all around me but um i think you you should see the positive ways like air is better you have more time for friends for family um for enjoying um the mountains the lake um i went for a hike yesterday i'm here with friends and it's a really great time that sounds good that sounds good that, and it looks beautiful yeah thank you hannah and then uh, i think from the beautiful moon lake yesterday was full moon 
So that's always good for, for composers and inspirations and also good for hiking. And now we hike back virtually into the Ungergasse. Alice? Yes. Uh, C'est toi. Uh, Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, directement dans, dans mon vestiaire. Directement, uh, directly in my garderobe. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I did a lot of recordings here during Corona. This was really cool. In fact, um, I, there were two theater con um, projects projects that were cancelled. I was in the middle of rehearsals and um, of course this is sad, but um, new collaborations um, were going on. A friend of mine called me to make a song. We never worked together, but this is um, already the first week he called me, yes, I have a song, do you want to make a voice? And um, so I, for me it was in the creative way, not from the beginning, but um, Au fur et à mesure, my English is very bad. Um, it was um, the creativity took a lot of place, and um, this 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 was really happy. Ab I'm, I was really happy about this. But um, I want to say or see what Flori said. Um, I was very very impressed. What is really possible? We never ne nobody. I think nobody thought that. Um, the things that were happening were possible. A lot of them were, um, Greta Thunberg was asking us to take time, to take care, and we didn't. But now with Corona, um, Corona um, forced us to do, in fact, um, many things that she was asking. And this, I'm really, yeah, impressed. I'm very impressed of this effect. And I hope so much that it will, um, that we will learn from this. This is the most important lesson from, for me. Oui, je pense aussi comme, comme toi. <laughs> Merci, uh, Alice. And de la Ungagasse, we go into the beautiful green house and flat of uh, <laughs> saxophone playing Karin. Hello, Karin. Hello. Yeah, I, I, miss, I, I miss a garden because I don't have a balcony or something, something like that. So I have to, I need my garden in, into, uh, inside of my flat. Uh, that's one thing I missed a bit in the Corona crisis. Um, of course, it's it was possible to go out, but it was not enough for me. Um, yeah, what I did, uh, of course, I could use the time a bit to, to work a bit. Uh, I think um, the, the, the people always see the, the musicians on stage and think, okay, that's it, that's your life. Um, and in my, in, in this case, I, I, I think, okay, actually I'm working much from my home <laughs> and I think every, every mu musician has to do this. So some, some things in this time were not really different. Um, but um, I really missed to play on stage and to get a feedback, feedback from the people. So I, I think that's so important um, that you, you, you can be together live with people with, music, with musicians and with the with the with the people they, they listen to the music and and yeah this i miss it and I'm, i would be happy to to play again on stage and live and yeah that's a wish <laughs> so we hope uh, we hope we can celebrate that soon again and uh yeah so it's all different i think uh paul you're also performing on the big stages in europe uh, how is your situation i think you've been very creative and very fast and quick in changing the and, and the, the accept in the floor the, for me the whole situation started already earlier because i should have been performing in hong kong in early february this year so i was one of the first ones who lost jobs and was affected so first of all i i went skiing i went up the mountains i enjoyed life and i took made the best out of it and after slowly 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 all my projects got cancelled all the year is cancelled so the stage was somehow taken away and first I was shocked. I, had, I was afraid what's going on. How big is this wave going to be? Are we all gonna die in the cities? There was so much fear in me and in all my surrounding. So this, to be honest, I was afraid. And um, out of this fear, slowly, slowly, and out, of, out about realization, realizing <laughs> stages were took, I created my own stage. So. I, I realized that I'm really 100% performer because 
the stage was taken away. So what I did, I went out and I performed in the streets. I went to the people delivering goods and bringing musical messages. So this was my idea as I, as I showed it or explained it in the video before. But what I hope to get out of this situation is this always there is hope because we have to hope and as we feel it now hope is coming back with this project for the European Union as we all are Europeans and uh, the borders got stronger again now we're losing them again and it's going to be better it's going to be relaxed I just hope that we can create something together out of it as all of you mentioned before is it nature is it climate is it arts is it just something positive and there are clever people they're thinking about it and please do something because it showed us what is possible it showed us that it affects us and that there is a lot of fear in the people so and i don't want to be feared i i just don't want that it, it was ugly it was disgusting um, it ruined a lot of me personally and i was lucky but okay i'm one of the one of the very few crises let's say winners I, at least i earned a little bit of money delivering goods but there cannot be 50,000 <laughs> opera singers in euro there is not in, enough to deliver <laughs> so <laughs> this is it i i'm very glad to be european and i see that this european project was always very good it worked really good in the last 50 years i'm coming from a region where the country was separated tyrol south tyrol there were conflicts there was war Europe brought us together, Europe helped us to stay together and to live together, even with different languages, but with the same cultural background. So I'm a big fan of the European Union and thanks for the project. And I give the word, I pass it on back to Dominic. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, it needs your voices like uh, physically and, and also musically and then also like philosophically in the way that you just pronounce you and, and get active. So that's, uh, that's great and beautiful and I think important. And also this project is just a, a feature of, of what we are through, you know, of trying to connect. And um, so it's great people who just, just did something and that's, that's what we are and that's the result. And so, yeah, now we also like an, an, a great artist, a voice artist, Christian. I think he adapted, uh, you adapted quickly also. And, and you had some live shows, uh, virtual shows, I mean and uh, trying to, to give your, your, your voice a, a stage in the virtual world, which is uh, beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, yes, I, um, I did. And I, I think this is a way, but um, I, have, I really have to say, so I, uh, I miss to play live and especially together with musicians because it's not, um, not, not, not even, some something thim, similar um it's it's not the same and not similar to um do it via streaming or something because yes but but it's okay it's a way and so and i had a lot of time um that i didn't had before to read text to see some things and and it was very interesting because i um when you remember dominic um Two years ago, I started to work with a Pasolini text. Yeah, and then as we felt with all the Italians, I guess, um, yeah, I, I, I took this text again, um, Terra di Lavoro, um, Das Land der Arbeit. My Italianisch is genauso schlecht wie mein Englisch, es tut mir leid. Um, <laughs> but um, yes, and, and, and all the th things I, 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 I liked a lot and I, I experienced a lot. And I'm curious to see how it goes on. And so, for, for example, because now today it's it's not only that we stream and it's not only that we do what we did before. So Tuesday, uh, uh, Thursday, for example, um, but it's um, in the context of Europe. And um, here was the same. I I, um, I took a text um, that I read long, long before, and it's from John Donne. And this is written so about, I'm not sure, but about 1624, I guess. Yes, so it's a long time ago. And, and, and I, I, I cannot say it in English, so my English is too bad, sorry, to, to speak, okay, but not for poems. Um, so listen shortly, 45 seconds, um, John Donne. 
Kein Mensch ist eine Insel. Vollständig in sich selbst. Jeder ist ein Stück vom Kontinent. Ein Teil des Festlands. Wird eine Handvoll Lehm vom Meer hin fortgespült, ist Europa weniger. So als wäre es ein Gebirge. Als wäre es das Grundstück deines Freundes oder gar dein eigenes. Jedes Menschen Tod ist mein Verlust. Da ich der Menschheit zugehöre. Daher frage niemals, wem die Stunde schlägt. Sie schlägt dir selbst. Ja, so solche Sachen habe ich gemacht. <lacht> Thank you, Christian. Wonderful. I mean, that's a, that's a, I will look into this. That was a wonderful, uh, symbolic and strong piece of wording. 1624 is, is not the, the youngest and still, still valid, you know. It's, uh, it's not like me that grows old. So thank you, Christian. Now we, uh, we arrive at the last art. It's in this beautiful circle and we're arriving at electronic music. And uh, Matthias, are you still with us? Thank you Hello. for your patience. <laughs> yes, a lot of wonderful things uh, and true things have been said from all of you. Of course, I also try to make the best out of this situation, but uh, it, it put me back in a very, a very thoughtful place at home, of course, and I, I think a lot about what's really necessary in life and in society. And of course, uh, one of the topics is the, the endless growth. Is it really necessary? And, and how will we change society and our lifestyle when all this is over? Will it be over? Will it, will it get back to how it was before? I guess so in the beginning. So like-minded people like us, we have to get together and talk about our opinions more, more loudly and celebrate what we have, I think. Celebrate what, what our parents and grandparents uh, did for us. Uh, and uh, I also mean the, the wonderful situation we have in Europe, the, the luxury we still all live in. And I'm really thinking a lot about all the people suffering, dying, and also all the people uh, doing amazing work, uh, like uh, from, from kindergartens to, to, to doctors and the, the people for infrastructure. We are also shown that they deserve uh, more appreciation and money and more income. Um, and I also think about a lot of artists who might not be able paying their rents in a couple of weeks, months from now. It's, it's tricky. I'm saying we have to celebrate what we have. Uh, the, the, a Europe without borders, um, also in our, in our minds, uh, is, is what I feel in this very moment as a very important thing. So that's it for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Matthias. And in fact, this is uh, let's, uh, celebrations are always looking back and also looking further. So, I mean, like uh, we have today on the 9th of May, 215 years ago, uh, Friedrich Schiller died. It's, um, and he was the, the author of The Ode to Joy. And uh, so we now present you a great work and, and artistic uh, expressive uh, progressive version by Christian Reiner and followed by Hannah Bösch who made a signed language performance that we also hear once with the uh, music and at a later point uh, completely uh, without music and then we have statements by our foreign minister Alexander Schallenberg uh, the secretary of state of the arts uh, Ulrike Lunacek uh, HRVP like Borrell and then we have a last finishing uh, sound uh, wishing, maybe all in our languages and with our instruments again on a very short basis. So, um, yeah, stay tuned, basically. And uh, we are, we are flowing and, and maybe accelerating in a smooth way. But uh, it was a great talk. Thank you all to all the artists. And now we switch into, into the next uh, pieces of poetry. Thank you. Get out of here! 
Freiheit! Freude schöner Götterfunken Tochter aus Elysium, wir betreten feuertrunken himmlische, dein Heiligtum. Deine Zauber binden wieder, was die Mode streng geteilt. Alle Menschen werden Brüder. Alle Menschen werden wo dein sanfter Flügel weilt. Diesen Kuss der ganzen Welt. Seid umschlungen, Millionen. Rettung. Stimmt. Eine heitere Abschiedsstunde. Schließt. Freude. In der Traube goldenem Blut trinken Schka! Sanftmut Kannibalen. Brüder, fliegt von euren Sitzen. Jetzt! Eine heitere Abendstunde, eine heitere Abschiedsstunde, einen süßen Schlaf im Leichentuch, festen Mut in schwerem Leiden, Hilfe, wo die Unschuld weint. Untergang der Lügenbrut. Rettung von Tyrannen Ketten. Großmut auch dem Bösewicht. Hoffnung auf den Sterbebetten. Auch die Toten sollen leben. Trinkt und stimmet ein. Allen Sündern soll vergeben und die Hölle nicht mehr sein. Tochter Freude, schöne Götter, Funken, Tochter aus Elysium, wir betreten Feuer trunken, herrliche dein Heiligtum. Deine Zauber binden wieder, was die Mode streng geteilt. Alle Menschen werden Brüder, wo dein sanfter Flügel weilt. 2020 is really an exceptional year. 75 years after the end of World War II, we are again faced with a crisis of global proportions. And COVID-19 will bring so many challenges for us that it will keep us occupied for a very long time. But there's a big difference between today and the situation 75 years ago. We today have a system which is called multilateralism, a system of international organizations which ensure that countries and regions cooperate with each other and talk to each other and try to find common solutions. At the core of this multilateralism are two of the world's greatest peace projects, the European Union and the UN, and Austria is extremely proud to be an active member in both these peace projects. 
Today we need more than ever solidarity, cohesion, cooperation and communication between nations and continents. In this respect, maybe I might cite the Schuman Declaration, which stands at the very beginning of the European integration. It says, and I cite, La paix mondiale ne saurait être sauvegardée sans les efforts créateurs à la mesure des dangers qui les menacent. World peace cannot be safeguarded without the making of creative efforts proportionate to the dangers which threaten it. I believe the sentence says all. So let's have courage, let's look into the future with a sense of pride of what we have achieved in the last 75 years and I'm sure that in the next 75 years there will be other great stories to tell. Thank you. Twenty-five years ago, Austria became the 14th member of our Union. Today, the European Union is an integral part of Austrian daily life, from the freedom of movement of people, goods and capital, to foreign policy, to financial policies and the economy. Research has shown that Austria's GDP is 16% higher due to its European Union membership that it would have been if Austria would have not joined the European Union. For example, the region of Burgenland transformed from an underdeveloped region receiving European Union assistance over more than 11 years to a pioneer in wind power in Europe. And Austria is a crucial strategic member of the European Union providing important expertise and invaluable contributions across all policy fields, not least on European Union enlargement, environmental issues or culture. Austria has always been at the center of Europe, geographically and culturally. Today, it is firmly at the heart of our European Union. Congratulations on this anniversary. Dear Europeans, fellow citizens, this 9th of May finds us in the most severe pandemic health crisis this world, this continent, has been facing since decades. 75 years ago, the United Nations was founded to build worldwide solidarity and support. Last year, Austria and Vienna celebrated 40 years of United Nations in Vienna, the UNO city, as we say in German. 25 years ago, Austria joined the European Union. Here in Austria and in Vienna, we cherish the EU motto of united in diversity. Vienna is a city with huge cultural and ethnic diversity, such as our common continent Europe is. Europe Day today reminds us of how the European Union was built from ruins after World War II and the Holocaust had cost millions of lives. Millions survived with unimaginable trauma, having lost loved ones and everything they had. We have achieved a lot of unity on this continent, but still, and especially in this corona crisis, we realize that we need to cooperate better to get social, 
and economic and yes also ecological solutions then for all citizens living on this continent and worldwide. By the way, as for the climate crisis, it does not wait and there is no vaccination against it. Cooperation instead of confrontation is the answer. Acting united, we stand stronger. As Austrian Secretary of State for the Arts and Culture, let me also thank the artists who are participating in this program. Artists are one of the groups hardest hit by the corona pandemic, since many of them work in precarious settings. We need to work together across borders and newly upcoming dangerous nationalisms in order to overcome this crisis and really leaving no one behind. Let's therefore stand stronger and together and make what we celebrate today unity and diversity, social justice, economic well-being. Let's make that a reality for all. Thank you. Thank you, State Secretary Lunacek. Thank you, HRVB Borrell. Thank you, uh, Federal Minister uh, Schallenberg, for your statements. That's covering many different themes and important uh, yeah, themes that we're in that are part of the celebration. And what's rhyming on themes is beans. And to explain the beautiful performance uh, by Sofia Tagliani made for us, that's a, a, um, that's a quote of the life of Beethoven, who was, uh, just like me, a coffee addict. And um, so I have this old uh, coffee mill here, and I collected 60 beans just to show you. Every morning he was checking out and, and collecting 60 beans to make his coffee out of a machine like this. And then this, his day started. So whoever wants to come into the direction of composing music and symphonies, maybe this is a part. I'll just give you a... Sh uh, and just, uh, this is how it looks like. 60 beans. And that's it. And quite, uh, yeah, quite something. And um, so let's keep on to our last round. It's basically just a, a finishing. And uh, I think we're a bit over time. But I mean, that's what you have if you have uh, nine artists or 27 member states. It just takes a bit longer than if it's just one decision. And that's, I think, part of democracy. And this is part of exchange and communication. And also in the word exchange, there's also change. So I guess uh, that's what we're in for. So I won't excuse myself, but then again, also excuse myself if we're longer than, than we should. But then actually, it's part of the whole uh, performance. And it's, uh, yeah, so we keep it short anyway. And uh, I would love, I mean, first, I mean, I love the participation of uh, the great variety of, of beautiful and wonderful artists. And uh, I would wish, if it's possible, just to have a final wish in your mother language, whatever that is, but I think we heard the different directions, if you want. And then... Sorry? And then, um, exactly. And then maybe, I think we lost Monty, but I think uh, Monty will come back at some point. <laughs> anyway, so just give a, a small musical uh, wish, basically, before, before we, we leave into... Finale. Sashko uh, Kozi, is, uh, we would love to hear a bit from you. Thank you for being part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh,
bleibt die Stimmung, haltet die Stimmung hoch, bleibt gesund, alle Mama, Kätchen, Ciao, Bulgaria, 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 I love it. Grande, grazie. Uh, from Bulgaria to the Latvian souls, Anna Veselova. Thank you for being part of here. Thank you very much. I will say a few sentences in Latvian, one of the most melodic and beautiful languages in Europe, and also one of the oldest. Svecien no saulainās vīnas, un es ceru, ka visiem ir jauka diena par spītišiem, nepierastajiem krīzes apstākļiem. Un domāsim un rūpēsimies viens par otru un aizbrasīsim, ka Eiropas Savienības pilsoņiem ir viena no labākajiem dzīves apstākļiem, kuri mums ir tikai pateicoties vis, vispusējiem atbalstam, kā turēsimies kopā un jā, paldies. Sakt man spasībā, vai no? Es izsēju, man sakt... I know, I know, but I think it's getting maybe it's some, sometimes it's similar, but it's not. No, Latvian is not as good. <laughs> but what is Danke then? Danke, thank you for your. Obvious. Obvious. Thank you very much, Anna. Wonderful. And um, let's go to Floris from Latvia to the Belgium flows and languages. Hello, and thank you for your participation and your sounds. Great to be here. So my wish is that we all move towards a greener future. Ik wens dat we met z'n allen ons uh, begeven naar een groenere toekomst. Je souhaite qu'on s'engage tous pour un avenir plus vert. Ik wens meer dat we ons allen engageren voor een groene toekomst. Dank je zeer. Merci beaucoup. Dank. Bedankt. <laughs> <laughs> Floor is great. And Hanna is back. We lost Monse for a little bit, but Sarts Kamagut is back on action. Hanna? Yes, I'm here again. Well, thank you all for watching. Um, hello to Malta. I really hope to come back in uh, summer because I couldn't go there at Easter. And um, Saha Ukrazi. Wonderful. Thank you, Hanna. And then from Hanna to Ungergasse, Alice. Uh, Few wordings from many different styles. I want to to say from Nicolas Hulot, who was um, who did a great, uh, very important publication uh, on Le Monde, and the sentence is uh, "Non au retour um, à la normalité." Ça veut dire it means that um, yes. Let's change something. And I want, I wish this to everybody of us. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Alice. Efkaristo. And maybe like now from Kari, maybe we can also get a little a tiny uh, a saxophone sound to make it all jazzy. That's also the origin of jazz comes from different, from listening to others. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to change it. No, 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 don't, no, don't then. Danke, danke, Karin. Thank you very much. Um, we still final words, sagen. Kurz und knapp, ja, genau. Also ähm, ich denke, die, die Isolation, so diese ganze Situation aktuell war natürlich auch schwierig für alle. Ich freue mich ja, dass es jetzt wieder Lockerungen gibt. Ähm, ich glaube, es hat ein bisschen was Verbindendes auch. Also wir waren alle in der gleichen Situation, gerade auch unter Musikern. Wir wissen alle, okay, es ist schwierig. Ähm, irgendwie verbindet uns das ja auch. Das mhm. haben wir irgendwie alle mit gemeinsam. Und ich wünsche mir eigentlich, dass das in Zukunft, dass da vielleicht auch öfter nochmal drauf geschaut wird, dass die Leute mehr gemeinsam sind. Gerade auch, ja. wenn man es auf die EU bezieht, dass das einfach, ja, dass das noch mehr in den Vordergrund ragt, dass die Leute nicht nur auf sich schauen, sondern einfach ähm, so dieses Gemeinsame, was wir jetzt eigentlich durch diese Isolation ironischerweise äh, erleben haben, vielleicht auch übertragen auf die Zukunft. Danke, Karin. Sehr schöne Worte. 
Und uh, back to the opera. I see a Gitterlele, Paul. Ja, grüß euch. I have to say it in my original um, words from where I come from. So this is the mountain region. And originally I was thinking to perform another opera aria for you, but no, the bloody Garros made me also realize my own musical roots, so... Dio, Dio, Diri, Dio, Dio, Diri, Dio, Dio, Diri. Oh, this is just a yodeling, um, <laughs> just shortly. I could have also sung something out of Sound of Music, but whatever. I hope we can protect all minorities, all the poor ones in this crisis, because after crisis, sometimes it also goes even worse. But let's protect the weak ones, the minorities, and um, stay together. Thanks for the invitation. Bye bye. Danke, Paul. Danke, Paul. Sehr, yo, 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 yo. Wonderful. Very inspiring. <laughs> Don Cristiano, on the day of Schiller, on the death day of Schiller, 215 years ago, it's great to have wordings on the Ode of Joy. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, yeah. So um, I, I do something. I'm inspired. So because I, I, I guess words are enough. So. <laughs> Thank you, Cristiano. Thank you, Cristiano. Molto elegante. Super. Thank you, Christian. And we go from Christian uh, to Matthias yes. in your electronic studio where you also have your radio shows. Matthias, thank you for your participation. And How are you? I can play oh. an outro beat from this little machine. Perfect. And maybe in the meantime, you can read what's on this shirt. It's the Declaration of Human Rights. I'm wearing it especially for today. The, the outro beat. I thank you so much for having me with this wonderful project. Can you hear it? It's perfect. Okay. Something with a little hope at the end. Something positive for all of you. Nice to nice to have met you all. See you soon in real life, hopefully. Ah, wanna join? Let's all make one, one grande finale here. Thank you, Karin Sashko, Cozy. Thank you, Anna Ali. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Christian Matthias, Floris. Thank you, Hannah. And uh, also, like the signed language performance that we see now for another 40 seconds. And this time, in a way, then later in his life, Beethoven, as we know, had difficulties to hear. And this is also a great, important language of the European languages. And Hannah Bösch has also, like, thank you for her, for her participation. She's going to. Uh, show us what we saw before, the first word of the adapted sign, um, and uh, exactly, and this without uh, without uh, sound. And then, thank you, Alain Martin, who had the idea for it all. And so we're going 
on to the final words by uh, Alain Martin. Hello, and then hello, Hannah. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful Europe day. Adio. Ciao. Bye. Case in their parents, but especially all the artists who have put their heart and soul into this unique performance of the Autumn Joy. They have shown us that how different we all may be, we can all work together in harmony, so we can become together as one. It is not only good to have great ideas if they are not the right people to make it possible. So, my big thanks to Dominic Nostrich who worked out the concept, produced it together with uh, Michael uh, Wilhelm, to Anu Gangli for the graphic design, Hannah Bush for sign language, Martin Push for the production of Auto Joy, together with Carlo Hoffman on camera, and Klaus Vinishkalan sound. Last but not least, I would like to thank you for logging in in such a big numbers to follow this live stream and have given us the creativity to share Europe Day with all of Europe and the entire world. As Clement, uh, Ambassador Clement said in his welcome remarks, it is now more than ever the opportunity to celebrate European unity and solidarity and to reflect on the future as only global and multilateral solution will be able to tackle this crisis. Together as one, we are stronger. So, thank you again for watching. Keep safe and goodbye.